Hello everybody, good morning to you, Thursday morning. Hey, how you doing? How you been doing? Well, it's great to see you today. I'm glad that you're here. We live in a culture in which uh, it's so easy to become critical, critical of everything we see. Uh, we compare ourselves, we compare our family to that family, we compare our church to that church, we compare our school to that school. We compare our bank account to somebody else's bank account. Listen, that's not smart uh, at all. And so in the process of comparing ourselves to others, uh, we become critical of what we have. Uh, we can become critical of what we have. Not everybody is, but, but we can become critical. Instead of being thankful for what we do have, and instead of being thankful for the progress we are making, we become so uh, focused on everybody else what they're doing and what we're not doing, how their marriage is succeeding and ours is falling apart, um, how our family don't have it together at all and that family does. Uh, and, and so actually in the process of all that, we can become critical of ourselves. We can become critical of our church, our school, uh, where we work. We can become critical because we've compared ourselves to the others. And again, the Bible tells us that's just not wise to do that because it isn't long if you entertain that critical spirit then nothing is going to ever be good enough nothing is ever going to be good enough there's going to always be something wrong and actually uh, you end up living a miserable life because you're not really truly grateful for what you do have and the fact that that probably you're not seeing exactly what's really going on uh, in those other people's lives and the other people's churches and the other people's marriage and the other people's school and the other place the other place where people is working there's no perfect situation there's no perfect people i don't want to be a miserable human being and i realize this is now december 1st and you know what thanksgiving is over we're really in reality we should live out our life being grateful, whatever day it is, whatever month it is, whatever season we're in, be grateful for what we do have and, and know the Lord is arranging things. If you're a child of God, he's arranging things and he's working on you and he's working on other people and he's working on the situation. There's no perfect home. There's no perfect church. There's no perfect job. And so what I'm saying today is this, why not actually devote yourself to being an encourager. Why not devote your life to encouraging people? It encourage your spouse, encourage your pastor, encourage, can I just say this, encourage your boss, encourage uh, the people that you hang around with. Be known as an encourager and a person that promotes peace and a person that promotes godliness and a person that, that brings hope into the situation and brings sunshine into some folks' life. Yeah, you can, you can be critical and point out everything wrong or you can decide. Anybody can do that, by the way. Anybody can be a critic, but it takes a real special person to be an encourager an encourager. Today, I encourage you to be an encourager. There's nothing more important, I think, especially in the time in which we live than for you to decide to be an encouragement. There's a bunch of critics out there. There's a bunch of naysayers out there. There's a bunch of people out there looking just to find something wrong. Why not today you choose to be an encourager? It'll make the difference in their life and in your life too.